I'm Kelpie and today I'm going to be going over some pressed flower art. So for our materials we'll need a pair of scissors, some glue, make sure it is liquid glue and that it will dry clear. We need some paper to do your art on. It's best if this paper is a little bit thicker. Um, but anything works, like printer paper, just whatever you have lying around, that should be okay. Um, and then you need some paper that will help you with your flower pressing. It really doesn't matter what this paper is, I'm going to be using some printer paper, newspaper works really well, any scrap paper that you were going to throw away, just whatever you have lying around. Um, and then you're going to need a heavy flat surface um, or object. Books work really well. I'm going to be using signed Scenic Wonders of America. Um, textbooks work well. If you don't have a really heavy book, um, you can put something that's flat and then put a lot of heavy objects on top of that. As long as you have a flat surface and then enough weight to press down your flowers and leaves. Obviously you need flowers and leaves. Um, I already went out and gathered some. I just have some simple dandelions. Uh, this is some bleeding heart. The leaf from a bleeding heart. Um, this is some bugleweed and a little bit of sword fern. If you're picking anything from a flower bed, make sure to ask before you do that. Dandelions are fair game. You don't need to ask anybody about those. Um, so let's get pressing some flowers. And take one piece of paper, and arrange your flowers and leaves. Uh, make sure that the way you are placing them down is a way that you like because um, that's the way they will be forever once they're pressed. So I'm going to cut off a lot of the stem of this dandelion, see if I can have it lay more flat like that. We'll see. Okay, this one I think I'm going to have down like that. You can give them a little bit of room so they don't stick to each other. These ones I think I'm going to uh, separate the bleeding heart from the stem. They look really nice when they're uh, away. Maybe these two can stay together. That looks pretty good. That down. Just whatever looks good to you. Twist them a little bit. Like that. Okay. You're gonna take a second sheet of paper. The papers kind of keep your uh, plants together, but they also stop some like water transfer or pigments getting onto whatever object you're using to press down your flowers. We want to keep the Scenic Wonders of America a nice book without stains on it. You can just press it down like that. Then you can pick it up and move it somewhere out of the way. When you're moving it, make sure that you get under both layers of paper so that your plants don't come flying out. And then you can put that somewhere out of the way wait about three days. Um, your plants might not be dry all the way by that point, but they will definitely be, definitely be flat enough that you can take your heavy object off. Uh, it takes a while for some plants to get all the way dry, so you might need to wait a week or two. Luckily, we don't have to wait that long because I have some flowers and leaves that I already dried. There's a lot of um, some rose petals on here. These ones are not flat. 
Uh, you don't need to flatten them out if you want to use them for art. Hmm, I'm going to make a bookmark today. So I'm going to take this piece of paper. Whoop! Let's not have those fly away. Cut it to a bookmark shape. We'll need to pick ones that are flat so that the bookmark can fit in a book. Okay. So I like to arrange the petals first. Let's see. I think I want to try to make maybe a butterfly. Do half of a butterfly, maybe another butterfly over here. You can see that. Nope. Maybe this butterfly is facing this way. It's going to do a very simple design. Little butterfly. Two little butterflies. Now I'm happy with that placement, so now I'm going to just glue them down. Don't need a whole lot of glue, these are very delicate. So I like to just put the glue down where I want them first, and then put the petal on top. You can just move it gently with your finger, move it around. It's okay if the glue is not all the way to the edges. Just don't want it flying off of there. There we go. Okay. You can make bookmarks, or you can make a picture. Whatever you feel like doing. Okay, the last petal. Put it right down there. Don't need a whole lot of glue. It's not very thick. Stay on pretty well. Okay. That's how they look right now. To make them look even more like butterflies, I'm going to take just a colored pencil. Don't be afraid to mix mediums with these. You can decide that you're just going to use flowers or you can use some writing utensils um, or maybe some paints. Whatever you feel like using, that pedal keeps slipping. Feel free to go for it. That's what art is all about, is about expressing yourself and using the world around you. Okay. And there's my little butterfly bookmark. If you make any art, you can share it with your teachers and maybe they can share with the rest of the class or you can share it with just the people who are around. Um, have fun, be creative, and get out there and do some art.